So today is a very special day for myself. It is actually my birthday today and I uh, wanted to film a video, hang out with you. And I told myself, you know what? I don't want to do anything technical. I don't want to stress myself out because when I film these videos, I'm worried about lighting and cameras and background noise. I don't care about that. I just want to have fun. So if you guys hear the AC in the background, uh, it is what it is. So I want to have fun while I'm filming this video. I'll be doing some talking while I just put a beat together using the Keys 37. Now, do not forget, if you need any audio equipment when it comes down to keyboards, uh, MPCs, cables, microphones, uh, use the link that I have to Zounds down in the description. It truly helps out my channel. It helps me keep going without any extra cost towards you. Plus, Zounds is awesome to shop at. They set up payment plans with you without checking your credit or any background check. Uh, check out the links that I have, some of the gear that I use when I make music. All right, so I have the keys 37 uh, i want to start a beat right here and just a, a quick heads up uh, i know a lot of people in my previous videos lately a lot of people have been a bit upset that i'm using mpc3 uh, i don't know if it's just people think that i'm trying to flex on people that i have mpc3 it's just what i have it's just what i'm using to make music and it's just what i enjoy making music with at the moment so it is what it is. Uh, we're going to have fun. And for those of you, the other people that are just grateful, the showing the love in the comments, thank you so much. I really appreciate you guys with all my heart. Uh, I do not reply to any negative comments. I don't have time to reply to negative comments uh, because there's so many people showing love. And those are the people that I focus on the most. So thank you so much. If you're one of those individuals that just shows the love in the comments, it really means a lot to me. So let's get right into it. I have a blank session right here. Uh, I want to go straight into this record that I have. I've sampled this record before. Uh, it, it's just, you know, if you have a record that you've sampled before, do not be afraid to resample it because it, it's always sparks something different when I bring it into the MPC. I'm lonely for another Let's jump into the sample editor and I'm going to chop it up right here uh, the way we would in MPC 2.0. Some people are asking if we could still chop up samples the way we were doing it in 2.0. Yes, we can. Uh, everything is still the same. Uh, nothing really has changed from 2 to 3.0. They just added so many cool features in 3.0 that uh, I'm very happy about. Uh, I went back to 2.0 yesterday and uh, was seeing if I was missing 2.0 or not. And no, I actually love 3.0. Uh, so it's something that I'm gonna stick with and I don't think I miss 2.0 as much. I got this right here. I wanna just uh, set the start point. Go ahead from trim and I'm gonna go to chop mode and manually start chopping this up. Tomorrow, since my love has gone. All right, we got that chopped up, convert this into its own program. I'm gonna hit do it. Go back to my main page. So, this is cool. Uh, this is a sample that I've used before, uh, but his voice is in the way. There, I could not find any other piece in the record where his voice was not on top of at least one bar that I can play with. So uh, going, uh, being used to working with the SP-1200, the SP-1200 does not have no stem separation or anything fancy like that. Uh, one thing that I've learned after sampling and chopping up samples with the 1200 is looking and searching for empty spaces in between uh, bars and beats without his vocals speaking. So it just makes me work a bit harder and makes me pay, pay attention to certain spaces of records or of music. So right now, that's what I'm go going to do with all these chops that I just created and uh, see if we could construct a loop or at least one bar with minimal vocals getting in the way. We're not gonna use stem separation. If I don't have to use stem separation, I'd rather not use it. This is the driest bar that I was able to get with not too much vocals. Uh, I'm actually gonna go into my track editor, go to global, 
pitch this down. Uh, let's try minus four. Okay. All right, so I reversed this right here. It sounds weird, but uh, it sounds cool. Uh, I, I'm trying to play with it. I, I always say this, but I don't know what's going to work. I just uh, connect. This is the part where I probably spend the most time uh, just trying to connect, see if something rings a bell on my head or something just sparks inspiration uh, that I can stick with. And once I find something that I feel is going to work, I'm not sure it's going to work, but I'm going to record that on the grid. And then after a few playbacks, I'll realize, like, you know what, maybe I can change one of the pads for something different actually before we get the tempo let's go to another empty track and right here let's get some drums let's start uh laying some drums down right here on the grid Ooh, okay i already like that i'm gonna load that right here go to my uh sequence record that on the grid By the way, I, I love it when there's uh, sample packs that include these hi-hat loops because I'm able to get a hi-hat loop and now I'm gonna go into more of these one shots and lay my own rhythm on top of that hi-hat loop. Awesome, and now I can go to my snares. Let's go to this uh, sample chop. <laughs> See, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, once I have my drums, something very simple that I have on the grid, and then I go back to those chops and start playing with that. Uh, by the way, I'm going to take a quick moment. Uh, I'm so grateful to be alive. I'm so happy to be here. Uh, I, I said this before, but it has nothing to do with making music. Uh, just gratitude, man. Like, I feel so happy uh, that I'm here. I'm alive. I got an extra year of life. And I uh, forget about my birthday. I know we celebrate a birthday of like, oh, it's that one day out of the whole entire year that we celebrate. But just being here, being alive is, is a huge blessing. And not only that, but, you know, I, I got my two girls with me, my daughter and my wife. And uh, that to me, just having my family with me uh, means the world. You know, I wake up every day and I, I do not take it for granted. You know, I don't have everything figured out. My life, my life is not perfect. We always deal with adversity, problems in life. It, that's what keeps us going. That's what keeps us fighting for what means a lot to us. And uh, I'm grateful to be here. Uh, we wanted to take a moment and just share gratitude because that's something that we don't see often. I know nowadays with internet, social media, uh, there's so much hate. Uh, oh, man, it's just crazy. You could get poisoned by what's out there and what the world throws out there. And unfortunately, what sells is a lot of negativity and bad bashing people and uh, it's crazy what we see nowadays, but it's rare to just see somebody sharing gratitude or just sharing a moment of excitement. And, and uh, that, that's something that it's not seen as much. So I want to do my part and, and show that there, there is good things in the world and uh, doing what we love is something beautiful that we get to do. So let's get back into the video and continue this right here. All right, so let's see, there's something going on right there that I'm not sure, I think is the drums. I'm gonna go to this uh, arranger. Uh, one thing that I've noticed too, now that I've been uh, using 3.0, uh, I'm making beats the way we would in 2.0. So don't freak out if this arranger thing is not your vibe. Don't worry about it. You can still make beats the way we would in 2.0. Uh, I've been having fun, but every now and then I pop into this Ranger right here. And before I even do that, I don't even know what's what. I haven't named my tracks, which is kind of weird of me. I always name my tracks. Uh, let's go to my drums. All right, so these drums right here, I'm noticing something's a bit off. I could set this loop point right here. Right there, something's off right there. I can pop open th these drums and check this out right here. All right, I'm going to re-record this small section. You know what? I think it's actually something within my sample. See, it's not always perfect. 
Uh, we zoom in right here. Oh my goodness. All right, those little small samples that you shift forward or backwards makes a big difference. It just sounds a lot tighter now. Uh, and by the way, if you want these chops right here, I'll make these chops available for my Patreon. So uh, if you are part of the Patreon, make sure to download these sample chops after this video. I'll have them up already posted. So if you are not part of the Patreon, make sure you subscribe where I share all these sample chops that I'm working with. If you do not have an MPC, you can still become a Patreon member because I have the WAV files you could use to uh, sample from any other sampler that you have. So make sure you check that out after this video. One thing that I've been loving, I've been enjoying is this mixer, just being able to interact with my music as right now I'm producing. I don't really care about the technical side of mixing and levels and is this distorting? Like, I don't care about that. I'm just having a good time. But as I'm producing and as I'm having fun, there's times where I want to tap in and just lower down the kicks or the snares. I could bring up that snare. The hi-hat. I love being able to use these faders the way I would when I'm mixing. I, I Back in 2.0, I didn't like the squares on the mix page. Uh, it didn't feel like I was mixing. I don't know if I was the only one that felt like that, but it felt like I had to do homework, where, especially when I had a send signal to a send or a return. But now, being right here in your actual main page without stopping the music, right now I stopped the music because I'm talking, uh, but you're able to open up this channel strip Excel and say I want to add some reverb to the snare, I go to FX, or actually go to Sense, and I just raise up Send 1, and I'm already in my reverb. That is so cool. Uh, one thing I'm noticing, I'm still hearing some uh, gaps in between each slice. Uh, there's some clicks and pops. I could go into my sample track, Go into this track editor, and right here, I go into this little droplet icon, select all, and I'm going to add a tail length to the entire program so it just softens up the gaps in between. If I'm moving a little fast, I do apologize, and you're like, man, what, what is that? I do apologize, uh, but if anybody that wants a little more information or for me to go a little slower, I do have a course that I go from start to finish. I take my time. I'm not jumping around all fast. We go very slow. It's four hours plus of information on how to build a beat, how to feel comfortable uh, navigating the MPC workflow, and I am teaching in 2.0 but I will be releasing the videos in 3.0 in the next following weeks so if you purchase the course you'll have 2.0 available for you and 3.0 available at the same time oh that is so much better uh go back to the main page and i actually really like uh the sample i'm gonna go to my effects i'm gonna add mother ducker to the actual sample let's go to mother ducker and then on my drums let's go to pad mix and on this uh kick go to effects add mother ducker input right here and now let's hear how this sounds with this uh sample right here Oh. All right, let's add a new track, and then in this track, let's go to a plug-in instrument. I'm going to add some bass. Let's go to Sub Factory. If you want any bass, don't question it. Just purchase Sub Factory. It is the best bass plug-in instrument ever made on the Akai plug-in list. So go ahead and check that out. not mess with this plugin as much sounds kind of weird but <laughs> let's see what we get yeah 
All right, all right. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, stop right here. Look, this is what it's all about. Having a good time. Uh, I'm my own number one fan. I hype myself up uh, in my own videos. I'm sure you've probably seen me uh, when I get excited, I break through. And uh, that's what it's about. If I'm not having fun, if I'm just showing up right here with you and just wasting your time and just pretending that I'm having fun, uh, there's no point to watch my videos. And honestly, there's no point to continuing my channel. But I genuinely have a good time when I film these videos, uh, when I interact with you guys. So thank you guys for showing up. Thank you guys for being here. Uh, it means a lot to me because I know time is valuable. So for you to even make it to the end of this video, <laughs> let me know down in the description if you made it to the end of the video. Uh, it truly means a lot. Thank you for hanging out with me. I hope you all had a great time. Uh, I'll catch you guys on our next video. Peace.